Hey guys, I wanted to show you a card that I just finished. Um, this is using the Tiddly Inks uh, Rin, and this is the one that I think it's called Somebody Loves You. And um, I used the paper collection from Hobby Lobby, and I just absolutely love this one. It's by the Paper Studio. I showed it the other day in my haul, and it's called Love You. I love that paper stack. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> so this is a digital image. And um, I printed it out on Gina K paper, the white pure luxury. And then I colored it with my Touch Twin and my um, Marvy alcohol ink markers. And I also used the uh, Stardust glitter pen. And I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can see it on her hair maybe. There we go, right there. You can see the little accents that I put in with the Stardust glitter pen. So cute. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I used um, some Prima Bling and I just kind of cut it apart and used just a little piece of it because it's just a card and I didn't want to use like the whole thing. And then I made some of these little spiral roses, just cut out small squares of the paper and made my own roses. And then I put a pearl in each one. And then I just tore the paper, used several different um, pattern papers from the design paper, paper pack and then I also cut this out with um, the Lifestyles Crafts um, scallop circle. I think I can't remember exactly what this one's called but I can I'll put it below or something or maybe you'll just see it here flash on the screen but uh, these are the ovals and I really like this this design. Okay, and then uh, the sentiment comes with the digital stamp. It says some some bunny loves you. And then I just used some flat back pearls here, and then I used, um, this is the heart punch. This is part of the border punch that I picked up today at Michael's, and if you watched my haul, then you'll see it. But what I did was I just punched this out, and then I just cut that one heart out. I, I really like that punch. I should have gotten, I should have gotten the one that is just the heart punch, too. I think I would use it quite a bit. So then on the inside, I just, uh replayed the same pattern paper just the opposite side of the page and then cut out another one of the ovals and then I stamped in there it says hugs and kisses and that stamp is from um, We Are Memory Keepers and it's just one of these little I think they might be dollar or dollar fifty stamps not sure and it just says hugs and kisses there and then everything all of the distress ink and all of the distressing is done with um, brush corduroy ink Tim Holtz and I like it. I think she came out. I think these images are gorgeous. I love, love, love the Wren images. They're so pretty. And, um, you know, I think that it came out really good. I'm really kind of, I feel like I'm kind of, you know, getting better with my coloring and getting better with the shading and things like that. So I hope that, uh, I hope that, I, I hope I'm progressing. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you guys what I did. You guys, I showed that uh, the other day that I was kind of um, practicing the hair coloring and trying to get some color combinations down. And so what I did is with the ones that I really liked, I punched them out on a two and a half inch scallop circle. And then on the back, I wrote what colors they were. This way I won't ever have that problem of not remembering what the color combinations were for a particular hair that I really liked. So I just went through into that and I'm still not like, I still don't really like all my blondes. I still want another blonde and um, I do like the reds that I came up with. They're kind of reddish browns. This one I never finished. I just colored the one side because it was late at night. And I put in a pink because I love the ones that have the pink hair. I think they come out so cute. And then there's a dark brown, and then another, this one's just a little bit darker, has a lighter highlight color, but it's got the darker browns, and then the black. I finally figured out which black it was that I used on that first one, so, and then I just stuck it on a binding ring, so then I would have it, and I plan on doing this maybe with some, you know, I might stamp out like an outfit or something and kind of just color it in certain color combinations that I like, so that, uh, you know, I kind of get the gist of what colors go together, go together best. So, yeah, so that's my video, and I will put on my blog uh, some more pictures of these, and then also the color combinations that I used for everything that I colored, because, like I said, I know it's really hard to find 
color combinations for the Marvy markers and for the Touch Twin, and I kind of want to, if anybody else is using them out there, I kind of want to have those color combinations available for them so that they know, you know, kind of what to use or, you know, they can get you know, their own idea from my suggestions or something like that. So, all right, everybody, have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.